one of our challenges is the fact that we've been around for 20 years. You know, <laughs> our, our, our target sales demographic is 25 54. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the 25 to 54 year olds of 1995, even 2005, I mean, you know, everybody jumps up in age and so yeah. this, the audience ages. Um, and, and we don't want to lose those people, um, but we still want to be able to attract the younger ones. People coming in 25 to 34. So it's, you know, it's an ongoing, you know, evolution. Like, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll use our, our weekend music as an example. When I first got here, we were playing 60s and some 70s, but then I evolved it to be more 70s oriented. And now we're, we're pushing it more and more into the 80s. We have an 80s show on Saturday night. And, oh, really? And, and, we, and, and we do a few, you know, 80s songs in the, in the hour. The, the trick to that is that you don't want to alienate the people that have been with you for 20 years, so yeah. you can't do anything too fast. Mm -hmm. It's got to be a slow evolution, you know, musically. I think, you know, from an information standpoint, you know, but the, the main challenge, though, is, 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 is running topic trends. There's trends in topics. What I mean by that, uh, let's say a top 40 station. Um, one of the examples I'll give you is WPST, they're a local station. They started out in 1975, mm -hmm. and they were... Uh, Pop oriented station, and then in the in the late seventies, disco got to be pretty strong. So they kind of leaned their top forty in the disco direction, um, and then there was a disco backlash in the early eighties. So they leaned it in a rock direction, and then there was Michael Jackson and Madonna in the mid eighties. So they leaned it more in a pop direction. Mm -hmm. Then there was a little bit of a backlash on that in the early nineties, and they leaned it in an alternative direction. Um, and then there were the boy bands in the late nineties. They leaned it back in a pop direction, and so there's always this. You know, bat, you you have a format, but you're always kind of weaving. You know, on what side you're you're you're, you're leaning. So I'll say with 101.5, so, you know, here's our, our you know we're, we're the Jersey station, but sometimes there's a stronger interest in po topics of a political nature, mm -hmm. especially when Christie was running for governor. Oh yeah, you know that was huge for us. But now we're at the point now where it seems a lot of our audience is, are happy. You know, with the, with the policies of Christie and. Um, and then there's not a really a lot of strong, compelling news stories coming out of the state, the state house right now. Mm -hmm. There's no big policy changes. Tolls haven't been announced to go up. They're trying to keep taxes under control. Um, so now we're sort of more back, I think, where we were, and I'll say pre 9/11, because things at, at 9/11 definitely changed in a more news direction. Mm -hmm. um, so. It seems like the topics that I've been working, you know, here in the fall of 2010, have, have been a little more entertainment based and maybe a little more, you know, fluff based or yeah. you know, seasonal based, but not so much based in news.